Deal in place to make home and renter's insurance more available in California and create a better environment for insurers to hopefully return the market to lower rates, but it won't fix things immediately. KTV's Tom Vakar has a look at what has to happen first. The insurance commissioner says he's made an agreement with insurers to increase options for homeowners and renters and create more price competition, especially for those forced into the California Fair Plan are insurer of last resort. This is a, a, great, a great day for consumers as we are able to give them more availability. United Policyholders Consumer Advocate, Amy Bach. We had gotten to the point in this sort of a standoff between, the, um, between insurance companies um, and our regulatory system where something had to, had, to, had to be done. I have to commend the commissioner and the governor for being brave. But consumer advocate Harvey Rosenfield, author of Voter Passed Proposition 103 that saved consumers many billions of dollars, asks this. Where's the plan? <laughs> he said, well, I've, I've negotiated it. But it's behind closed doors. Nobody's seen it. The commissioner says the deal will allow his department to explore, not guarantee, fair rates. Insurers will likely be allowed to pass on reinsurance costs that they buy to offset major California disaster claims. New climate change risk evaluation rate calculations are likely to be approved. Consumers, even in high fire risk areas, will be able to get traditional insurance, but affordability is not guaranteed. Whatever the deal is, it will likely come at a cost, according to insurance agent Jeff Kwan. The big carriers like State Farm or Farmers or um, Allstate, they're looking at rate increases of 20 to 30 percent. So um, over the current you know, market, 20 to 30 percent is on average. I mean, there may be homes that see a 200 percent you know, increase. Well, that would render many homes with mega increases essentially uninsurable and unsaleable. We're talking hundreds, but more likely thousands of dollars more every year for home insurance. All of this raises an alternative, a voter-approved nonprofit state insurance agency. Our elected officials uh, uh, don't understand what's at stake. Maybe we do need a, a, a public insurance company. Even the insurance commissioner says even at an accelerated pace, it'll take as long as 15 months to get new rules in place. Tom Vacar, KTVU Fox 2 News.